So welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be turning this tank into something that I think we all can appreciate. I have some driftwood, I have tons of rocks and plants, and I think we're going to be able to bring this thing to life. And by the end of this video, we'll be adding fish to this aquarium as well. So let's just get into it. So my vision for this tank is simple. I want to have a nice, simple scape right in the middle, kind of similar to what we did over in that setup over there, but I'm just going to use different type of stone, some different plants, and obviously we have a darker substrate so the substrate in this tank is some sandblast and sand mixed with like some regular sand and we have like some pea pebble it's all mixed together just some old substrate that i already had laying around that's already had tons of beneficial bacteria in it i got this little piece of driftwood right here that i think will be a nice little centerpiece i don't know which direction that it'll look the best in maybe this one right here but a nice little piece of driftwood we're going to add some stones around it add a little bit more pieces of wood and then we'll plant everything kind of bring it all together i'm just going to start playing with it and i'm sure by the end it's going to look good all right so i got the driftwood in there i like the placement of that i kind of angled it a little bit instead of having it like just straight across to give it a little bit of depth and some dimension in there um, and then we'll add some rocks around it to kind of bring it all together. I got different sizes. We're going to kind of just play with it and try to make that driftwood disappear a little bit. Let's see what we can come up with. Real simple. Don't think about it. Just kind of place the rocks in there and let them fall as they go. I got so much rock down here in the pit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta use it. It's looking good so far. I don't know, those rocks might be a little too big in there for my liking. So let me see if I can play with it a little bit more. Maybe put this bigger one out here on the back. Cool little placement, cool little placement. Still missing something though. <laughs> I have some smaller pebbles that I think will look good in there and again once I add some plants in here it's kind of going to bring it all together I need to find another one of those type of stones to kind of lay out here I kind of like how I just did that one right there now it's time to add some more driftwood I have a couple little pieces of these little twigs here so I think I'm going to add a few of them in here, see what we can do. I like it. It's looking good. So I got a whole bowl of crisps right here. I'm going to go through and start planting these guys, getting them in here, and I think it's going to really bring it all together. Now I do use a lot of crisps in my tanks strictly because this is what grows for me. A lot of plants don't grow in my aquariums. I don't know how people be having like those crazy lush aquariums. I can't get it. I don't know what I be doing wrong. One thing I love about the crypts also is that like you can either plant it to where you get a nice little bunch and you get that like instant look or you can just split them up and you can get multiple plants out of them. And now you got different areas to plant in. Right now, at my current stage in the hobby right now, I've just been enjoying everything that I've been doing, man. I swear I've been enjoying it. That's why I started rebuilding. Obviously, I got some business stuff that you guys are gonna be hearing about soon. That's why I rebuilt it, because I wanted to just do something different and have fun again with the hobby. Like, that's what it's about. Finally got it all planted. It's probably hard for you guys to see with the camera angle but once we get the water in you guys will really be able to see how this thing is looking it looks amazing in person um, just from the hardscape and the plant sitting there, I can imagine how it's gonna look with water in So it's been a few days since you guys seen the last clip. Since then, 
I have added some fish to this aquarium. You can see this thing is looking good. The water has cleared up, the tank has settled in, all the fish are looking amazing. We're gonna go through, show you guys some of the fish that I added to this tank, and then maybe we'll feed them, maybe we'll feed that tank, and then I wanna give you guys an update on the expansion back there as well, because I've made some more changes to that area. But first off, let's just show you guys these koi angels that I added in here. I had these guys for quite some time. They were upstairs in a different aquarium, but I had to bring these guys back down here to the fish room so that way we can enjoy them. Um, so we got four of these guys in here, looking amazing. Looking real good too. And then we also have a black angel in here as well. Um, I do have another one, but they just so mean to each other that I can't put them together. So I got the one black angel in here and then I add the other black angel to a different tank until I'm ready to start spawning those guys again because they're just super aggressive. Um, we also have some giant Daniels in here. Been had these guys for a couple of years now. Went ahead and just put six of those guys in here. I think I still got like six more upstairs, but I said six is a really good number for this tank right now. I didn't want to add too, too many fish to this tank, but I wanted to get something in here um, so that way we can enjoy them. Um, back there in the back is my beautiful electric blue Akara. Um, that is the female. I still have the male, but the female is, is such a bully. She beats the male up all the time that I can't put them together unless I'm trying to spawn them. That's the only time I can put them together. Any other time, they're going to just kill each other. I've also added in some nice little bristlenose plecos in here as well. If the angel will get out the way so we can focus on them. We got, I think I put like two bristlenose plecos in here just to help with the algae. And I think I have an auto sinkless in here somewhere too. He's probably hiding somewhere, but I got a little auto in here too to help with the algae. And then we got this uh, one little fish right here, uh, which is a female. These are called a humpback lima. I've had this guy first. I originally bought a pair. The male ended up dying and the female just been with me. So I'm just keeping her, letting her grow out. Hopefully I can get another male in the future. They're a pretty expensive fish to buy locally here. Um, I think they're probably like $20 a piece, give or take, on where you get them at. But it's a really cool live bear. Really like that fish as well. And I think that is all the fish. Oh, we do have one. Let's see if we can find them. We have a ram in here as well. But I think he is hiding at the moment. Uh, I can see it's popping his little head out back there. We got a nice little ram back here. I just put one in here. I didn't want to put like a whole pair. Uh, I just put one of these guys in here just to give us a nice little variety of fish in this tank. Um, and then we will eventually add more fish. But while we're here, let's see if these guys want to eat some food. Uh, they've been in here for about a day. Let's see. I know the giant dam is going to eat. Ain't no doubt about it. Look at them. Everybody crazy. So right now I'm just feeding them some uh, brine shrimp, which is one of my go-to foods to feed the fish. Um, it has its pros and cons, but I like it because it gives the fish a little bit of protein, but it's not the only thing that I do feed the fish. I feel like fish need a lot more um, in their diets than just protein to be fully healthy, but they definitely love them some brine shrimp. They is tearing it up. I seen somebody comment in videos like, man, just hang out at the tank a little bit more. I want to see the fish, so I'm just going to chill here let you guys see the fish and watch them eat. Hit enjoy them for a second. Electric blue car back there. Got some pellets for her. Let's see if she come up and eat some pellets. Come on, mama. She hanging out. She ain't too excited about no pellets. But everybody else is just going crazy, especially the giant Daniels. You can see how it can be hard for any fish to eat because <laughs> look how they just, they're like little piranhas. Look at them. After just destroying the food. But yeah, overall, I think this tank came out super good. Um, these fish are probably being here temporary. This won't be a long term thing. This is just temporary to get some fish into this aquarium uh, to build up some bacteria into this tank. And so I can add some new fish that we got coming into this aquarium. And then we'll move these guys to a different scape. But it's looking amazing. You guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. And then we take a W on that one, you feel me? So the tank that we set up, ooh, it's probably been about three or four days now. The tank is still looking amazing. Loving how it's looking, it's so clean. It's just super clean, man. Super clean looking tank. And it's only a sponge filter running this too. That's the crazy part about it. It's only a sponge filter running this tank.
they've been doing great. Been loving watching this tank as well. See our little bristle nose pleco down there. I need to put some algae wafers in there for him. I'll do that off camera. I just want you guys to see the fish up eating food. That's my favorite part about just keeping fish. Setting the tanks up, getting the fish in, and then just sitting back and feeding them and watching them eat and get fat. <laughs> That's the best part about it. I just love it. Pretty cool tank, pretty cool tank. I think this tank is going to settle in really good. The plants are looking nice and strong. Um, you can see that pothos root is growing down over here. I also added some pothos to this tank as well. You can see there's some pothos up there as well. I'm slowly bringing all my pothos back down to the fish room as well because I definitely use that as filtration for my aquariums. And I just like how it looks, give you that nice little green look. Before we get up out of here, I want to give you guys an update on the expansion as well. And down here working behind the scenes, grinding, trying to get all these tanks set up. So I originally had all these tanks up and running, but I went ahead and got the rest of these aquariums up and running. We got filters in all these tanks. We got heaters in all the aquariums. I still need to put lights on all the tanks. You guys will see all that come together. Um, but for right now, the tanks are up and running. I also brought down some pothos from upstairs. So we got a few little pieces of pothos sitting in the aquariums. I think there's some up here as well. Some in these 40 breeders. Um, and I'm slowly but surely bringing more things down to add back to these aquariums. The tanks are up and running, looking good. It looks so much better in person than it do on camera. And once we get lighting on everything, I have a bunch of lights, but I'm trying to debate should I go out and buy new lighting and have everything all the same lighting or just use some lighting that I have. Probably just use what I have to save money. Everything down here that I've been doing, I have pretty much been reusing stuff that I already have um, to keep the cost down. So. It's looking amazing. Still got to do all my 10 gallons at the bottom. I um, just haven't got around to those yet. All these tanks are boiling. You can see them things boiling right now. Boiling. So be on the lookout for the videos coming. We got a lot of fish coming in. That's going to be filling all these aquariums up um, in the next couple of days or so, maybe next week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. You guys can let me know in the comment section, did we take a W on this tank today? Cause I definitely think we did. Look at the angel, what you doing down there, bro? I definitely think we did. And uh, if you would add anything, let me know in the comment section as well. But if not, I'm gone. I catch you guys in the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I catch you guys in the next video.